every moment of my saxophone experience adds up here. Stay tuned to listen to my story. What's up YouTube? It's the star that's bright, the star's light, and today I will be answering my community's questions on regard to my saxophone. So on my Instagram page, I reached out to you guys just basically asking if you guys could create some questions on my total experience with my saxophone or anything else that has to do anything with that. And I have a whole entire page full of things that I will answer today. So I just hope you guys enjoy. And this is just my experience in my life filled with multiple experiences with my saxophone. All right, so question one. What made me decide to play the sax? Wow. So we go all the way back to December 2016 when I first initially started playing the saxophone. It was actually my grandmother who was the cause of it all. She, without her, I wouldn't be here making this video right now. I wouldn't have either one of my saxophones. She gave me this saxophone right here. My Jupiter model saxophone right here. And to start it off, this saxophone was just in a room for who knows how long, potentially years. But it was actually my uncle that started playing the saxophone first, and then he passed it on, and then my grandmother was just guarding it for all this time. And then one day, I just decided I want to play it. She asked me, actually. She said, Najem, do you want to play the saxophone? And I actually thought about it, and I said, yes. We called the band store. We um, just scheduled an appointment and then we went to go get my first read. And then that's where it all started. But yeah, this saxophone, I've always opened the box, the uh, case right here, this case, and looked at it, looked at how shiny it was, and looked at the detail. But yeah, so far, so good, man. Without her, I wouldn't be right here right now. And that's just where it begins. But next question. What are some troubles from playing the saxophone? Wow. Some troubles, struggles, whatever you want to call it, want to call it. Well, my first struggles really was reading music. Indicating notes and just picking up on them and then rhythms and then pace and then tempo and then just uh, certain signatures and it's just a whole bunch of things that you know you got to learn. It's a whole nother language with music with uh, reading it. But now, since I'm able to identify about every note on my saxophone, on my instrument, and on paper, it's not necessarily a breeze because there's still some challenges, but I'd say that there's definitely, when I was beginning, that that was definitely one of the main struggles. So I'm gonna show you guys, if I haven't showed you guys, the notes and what structural uh, detail I must go through. So. Yeah, that's one struggle. Also, just playing the saxophone, there's about like 26 keys on the saxophone, I'm, I'm sure, 24 or so, and you just gotta memorize a whole bunch of them. So there's definitely struggles with that. And um, those are about the main two, but yeah. Next question. What songs can I play? Really, with enough practice and repetition, I can play about any song, but there's diff different difficulty levels and I can either read it or play it by ear, just memorization, or just like trial and error, basically. Just uh, keep on learning and, you know, the process of just trying to do it without music. But um, either way, reading or just trying to play it with my fingers, either way will work. And then I would just get the hang of it eventually. Let me grab my water real quick, guys. All right, next question. How long have I been playing? Well, earlier I said ever since December 2016, so I've been playing for approximately four years, but it's been four years and about three months. Yeah, so three, four months, four years and three to four months. So yeah, it's been a while, man. So this December, it'll be five years. I acquired this saxophone day one when I started playing, and then this one last summer. This is a Jupiter model, model, and this is a Yamaha model. My grandmother is responsible for giving me this one, and then my auntie surprised me with this one right here. All right, next question. Do I play another instrument? I actually don't. And I love this question because I'm so interested in trying other things. Actually, I do. I don't know if this is considered
and playing it like as a developing craft for the future, but this is just like a hobby, I'd say. This is a harmonica. I play it from time to time, but it's nothing really uh, special about it, just out of pure enjoyment. But um, there's also my, a flute right here that I was given to my family. Um, we were given this as a gift, and uh, I just had it stored here. I would love to learn how to play the flute. At the moment, it doesn't really work, and um, I would love to just be taught to play multiple woodwind instruments, possibly oboe, clarinet. I wanted to learn the violin at the time. My minister inspired me to uh, play, just hearing the beauty and just, uh, just how it, it's just built and, and how it sounds to the ears. So it's soothing, man. Uh, really just soothing. Who's your favorite saxophonist? Why? And that's crazy how this question came to me because right when I was writing down these questions, I was listening to John Coltrane. I mean, I believe he started it all. There's probably some pioneers before him, but definitely just like jazz and, and just like, just how everything is in sync and his creativity and how he puts music together. I, I really just, admire him and I, I put him as my number one grade. And that is why he's my favorite saxophone. So go look him up when you get a chance. How many hours are spent per week playing and working on your craft? Lately I've been trying to get up to an hour practicing on scales, whatever etudes slash solos I got to do and then whatever I have to play in my uh, free time. Really, um, if it just comes to preparing for my next street performance or whatever. But um, I know a lot of overwhelming stuff can happen, especially during these times like school or other uh, things that acquire my maintenance. And uh, I just, I'm occupied with other things at the time. So that can make me go astray from my saxophone, but I always have it on my mind and I try to get back to it. At what age do you see yourself mastering your craft? Wow. At what age do I see myself mastering it? I really don't know as of now, but I feel like, man, I would have to be somewhere in my 20s, just as an estimate as of now. But I feel like I could go even further than that, than just mastering. But yeah, that's a very great question. What are your future plans on regard to playing your sax? My future plans are just really everything on, on any occasion, any idea, like street performances, auditorium performances. <laughs> Making albums, new songs playing for uh, weddings, birthday parties, all of that really. Or just playing just at my home to soothe my family or myself. And that's really just the, just some of it. I, I, I really, the possibilities are endless with my plans of playing my saxophone. Could you potentially teach others to play? To tell the truth, all my life I never really wanted to be a teacher. Now, I'm not gonna say that it's not possible, cause it could be, but I personally d don't want to teach others. I do respect others that te taught me, but my mission, I feel like, is just to create my own music and work on myself. Did one of your parents ever play an instrument? Did it influence you to start playing the sax? Well, I do believe my dad has played some instruments. I don't wanna get it wrong. I believe it's a violin or clarinet, and if I'm mistaken, that's my bad, but I do know that my family, and not only just my parents, are truly in love with music. Music is truly something that we have in common, rather as uh, people who sing or instrumentalists, whoever it is, and really having an influence on me. I think it's just the songs or whoever was singing on that one trip to the gas station or the store or the car or just repetitive repetitively just looking list listening to songs and just you know just getting it in my head i think music really just transformed my liking towards the saxophone how did you persevere through the challenges of playing the sax while learning wow i believe this 
motivated myself and just always instilling what my parents have told me. If I want something, I go get it. Not only my parents, but my family. I'm just staying strong mentally and just always wanting to succeed and just do the best at whatever I do. Not only the saxophone, but just to thrive and prosper in life itself. Is this your future career? Are there other options? Really in my mind? There's been times where I'm like, is this it? Is this going to help with this, that? And I finally decide, decided, yes. Yes, of course, because I know what I love. I really do. And there's, of course, other options. You guys know I love animals, reptiles. Uh, I like sports. I like working out. There's other options, but those could just be hobbies or whatever. I feel like, I really, really do feel like this is it for me. Really do. Who is your favorite person that you work with? My favorite person that I've worked with, my saxophone, has to be my personal sax instructor. I'm not going to shout him out for this video, but I do really, really appreciate him for just being there by my side, for just having the patience and the love for his instrument to be, to, to be enough and mean enough to teach me and other students as well. But yes, most definitely, I have, yes, he's, he's just my favorite person in this case. Where, where have you performed before? I have before, performed in front of Kroger, yes, a Kroger store. You guys can catch that video on my YouTube and my Instagram, the IGTV section. So, yes, I have performed there before. I performed once before uh, in front of my school. And, um, yeah, I, I really actually didn't like it, but it takes a lot of work to get out there, especially uh, self-esteem and, and just uh, confidence to go out there. And it can be anxious or a little anxiety flowing at first, but, you know, yeah, you just gotta work through it. But yes, I have definitely performed before at those places. What takes more skill, playing by ear or reading music? Well, those are definitely two different things, playing by ear and reading music. Since I've already said, and I already know this personally myself, that I've developed the ability to read music, I would definitely say that it's way much more easier doing that personally for me, in my opinion, for me based off of me. But because playing by ear, I'm not really as experienced with that as I am playing with, uh, with actual music. And I can mess up way much more. I'm trying to develop that as another second-handed ability. So yes, playing by ear is definitely way much more complex. And a lot of people can take a lot of misconceptions from that, including me. So, what motivated you to start? Wow, really? It's my grandmother, man. I have to say it's my grandmother. Also, the rest of my family. The, most likely, it's been a while, but I know they were supportive, and I know deep down inside they're like, "Go for it, go for it." And really, I just the plain, I guess the plain and simple. I don't guess I know the plain and simple answer is my family. That's what inspired me to start and to do it. That's why I'm motivated, and that's what motivated me. Sax goals. My goals are really just to be the greatest, to get multiple awards to have trophies or uh, Oscars, I'm not sure. Really, it's hard now to say my goals, like when it comes to like, like uh, I'm thinking like competition or performances, like what people see you. It's really hard to explain now, but I would just have to wait and see. But yeah, definitely goals to accomplish, to read, and to play through multiple um, sheets of music, to be able to, oh, actually, um, play by ear. Most definitely, that's one of my goals as of now. If I do that, if I get the, just, uh, if I'm able to pick out certain sounds and then just play by um, that, that will play in sync with the music, or rather it's a piano, or any other uh, structure added into the song, that would definitely be a check off my checklist 
and that's one of my main goals, one of my main priorities at the moment. So yeah, it's really difficult to say it off the top of my head because it's just like, I want to acquire everything. I want to complete everything. I want to accomplish everything. Just to think of it off the top of my head. I just want everything there is to it. I want everything. It's literally not one goal that I don't want to accomplish. Where do you think you'd be? And what plans would you have pertaining to your sex in two years? Wow, in two years, where I think I'd be? And what plans? In two years, I see myself just acquiring the ability to play by ear. And if you guys don't know what it means to play by ear, it means to play about any song or any rhythm or anything by just playing it off the top of my head, not looking at music. So that's literally all there is to it. Plans wise, I can see myself at actual events playing and whatever there is to it. But yeah, definitely see myself bettering myself over the years. Not just two years, not just four years, but life in general. So, last question. If I could perform any song, anywhere, where would it be and why? Wow. Really, I haven't really played a lot of songs, really. Like, performance-wise, or really it could be any song. It says any song. So, it could be a song that I personally like, but I'd say I have to play my Kanzanita and Giga song. I know I pronounced that wrong, but um, yes, that song is where it all started. <laughs> Thank you.